Clinic. Today we want to solve a question from theory of log reading. He said log 4x plus 1 base 10 minus log 3x minus 2 base 10 is equal to log 2x minus 1 base 10 minus log 2x minus 3 base 10. Before solving this uh, question, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like follows in our Facebook page. And also, turn on your notification home in the YouTube uh, channel. So now, let's solve this question. In solving this question, there are some rules that you must consider. The first one says that log p base a plus log q base a is equal to since they are positive they are to have together it will surely give you log p q base a in case they are minus we have log p base a minus log q base a because it is minus the law let us to know that it is P to divide Q base A. Now, in solving this, let's consider the equation one by one. This one and this. So, let's apply the rules. The second rules to both of them. So, we have log 4x plus 1 onto 3x minus 2 base 10 is equal to log 2x minus 1 2x minus 3 base 10 so because we apply the root 2 that is why it is in this form now let's try to shift this Second side to inside, we have log 4x plus 1 divided by 3x minus 2 minus log 2x minus 1 onto 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now, there is another rules of logarithms that let us to know that if if log p base a is equal to x, it let us to know that the p here is a raised to power x. Therefore, if this should be the case. If log p base a is equal to s and p is equal to a raised to power s, which is a is the base, so a is the 10 now, s is the 0. So, okay, before we even consider this, let's finish this rules. The second rule, we have a log base 10 on 2. We must finish this rule. We have 4x plus 1 divided by 3x minus 2. We open a bracket, you close to divide because it's a minus to divide 2x minus 1 onto 2x minus 3. Yeah, good. Is equal to 0. So good. So before you now consider these rules now, we now have 4x plus 1 or to 3x minus 2 to divide 2x minus 1, 2x minus 3 is equal to 10 raised to the power 0. Now, have able to apply these rules now, we are able to remove logarithms out of the game. We have 4x plus 1 to divide 3x minus 2 
total divisions of 2s minus 1 onto 2s minus 3 is equal to 1. But you can still believe that we can rewrite 1 to have 4s plus 1 to divide 3s minus 2. Total divisions of 2s minus 1 onto 2s minus 3 is equal to 1 over 1. I'm trying to give a better explanation so you're able to understand the rules that 1 can be written as 1 over 1. Why do we write it as 1 over 1? Because we want to make the both, the, 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 the both sides to, be, to become a fraction when there's a numerator and denominator. So there's another area now that we are going to, a fraction to divide the fraction. When this division wants to change, this fraction... The numerator will change to the denominator. The denominator will change to numerator. So therefore, we have so this will now give us 4x plus 1 over 3x minus 2 times, you know this is the division, we now give you 2x minus 3 to divide 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 1. You try to expand to have 4x to make it easy the way you used to view it. You apply the bracket to make it easy for you to know how to expand. So it's just turned to like you are expanding a bracket. Let's expand the bracket now. We have 4x times 4x, 8x squared. 4x times minus 3, minus 12x. Plus 1 times 2x, plus 2x. Plus 1 times minus 3, minus 3, to divide 3x times 2x, 6x square. 3x times minus 3, minus 1, minus 3x. Minus 2 times plus 2x, minus 4x. Minus 2 times minus uh, 1, we have plus 2. is equal to 1 over 1. Now, let's try to reduce it to have 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 1 over 1. So, we have able to have reduced this to a minimum value. Therefore, we have so let's cross multiply to have 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 times 1 is equal to 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 times 1. We have 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So, let's try to change this inside. We have 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 minus 6x squared plus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, at this junction, let's collect the like terms. What did you understand by like terms? The terms that they are, they are like. How do you identify that a term is alike? Some here has a coefficient of s k, which is 8 and minus 6. Another one has a coefficient of x, which is minus 10 and plus 7. Another one does not have x as a multiples. We have minus 3 and minus 2. So therefore, we now collect. So we call this minus 3 and minus 2 a constant. So therefore, we have 8 s k minus 6 s k minus 10x plus 7x minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. We have 2x squared 
minus 3x, this is minus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. So therefore, now by time you multiply these two, it will surely give us minus 10. Two times. So what are the factor of minus 10 that will surely give us uh, minus 3? So by the time we multiply the 2 and 5, so what do you want to say minus 5 and the plus 3? Let's use minus 5 and plus 3. We have 2x squared. Let me try to do it in a big place. So you're able to understand it better. So we have we have a 2x squared minus 5x to give all this minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So let me write this equation again to have 2x squared plus 2x minus 5x minus 5 is equal to 0. Do you know the reason? I want the 2 and 2 to fall in the same place and 5 and 5 to fall in the same place. So, by the time you have these two, it will surely give us minus 3. By the time you multiply these two, it surely give us 2 times minus 5. So, let's try to expand. Let's try to group. 2x is common here. We have x plus 1. Minus 1 is common here. We have x minus 5. We have x plus 1 is equal to 0. So therefore, we have 2x minus 5 onto x plus 1 is equal to 0. As I've said earlier in my previous video, that uh, in case you have a value like this, anytime you have a value in this form, the meaning is this, that when A multiplied B is equal to 0, he lets us to know that it is either A that is 0 or B that is equal to 0. Telling us that 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x is equal to 5 or x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to 5 over 2 or x is equal to minus 1. So the final answer is x equal to 2 or number 1 over 2 or minus 1. So this is a very good uh, uh, the logarithm questions that lead to quadratic equation. If we view that what we are doing here is good, please subscribe and share this video. So many people can also gain this. Thanks for watching.